Hi my loves, thanks for joining me on my channel again. Today I have a Weight Watcher recipe. I'm going to be making Canadian bacon egg cups with a little bit of cheese. So if you like these types of videos, just keep on watching. Okay, these are the recipe. This is the recipe that you're going to uh, need to follow. These are the ingredients. We have a uh, well, we're obviously not going to be eating this, but we have a cupcake tray to house our egg cups in. We have a Canadian bacon, one slice is zero points. We have eggs, one uh, eggs are zero on the freestyle program. We have a Fiesta blend cheese, which I'm going to put about a tablespoon um, of cheese in each egg cup. We also need some cooking spray to make sure that our egg cups don't stick and salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, Canadian bacon and I'm going to line each little um, cupcake mold with the bacon. So I'm just going to do it like that. And I have six eggs, so I'm going to do six little um, cupcake molds. And I'm going to spread them out so they cook nice and evenly. And just like that. And don't be afraid to, you know, get them in there. What I'm actually going to do. Oh, don't forget to preheat your oven to 350. I'm actually going to cut a little slit, just like that, so that it's easier to mold the little cups. There we go, that's much better. Highly recommend the little slit, because it seems to work a lot better. like that. Now you can also uh, do some veggies and um, mix them in with your egg, but I'm just going to just be very simple today and just do eggs with some cheese. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my, or open my eggs. And I'm not going to scramble them. I just want to place them inside just like that. So we get more of like maybe like a hard poached egg as opposed to a scramble. I, I like yolk, so I prefer a runny yolk or at least a soft yolk. And then we're going to go ahead and season it with our salt and pepper. Not too much salt because remember the Canadian bacon does have salt. You can also use the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning as well. I might go ahead and do that just to see how it tastes. And I'm going to use the um, Great Value Fiesta cheese. And uh, for one half tablespoon, it's zero points. So I'm going to go ahead and use one half for the zero points. Now one of these cups is going to be zero points, um, but if you have more than one, you need to count the uh, Canadian bacon. And for, I believe, for three slices of Canadian bacon, it's one or two points. All right, so there we go, we have our cheese. And now I'm going to go ahead and season our little egg cups. With some salt and pepper. And then I'm going to go ahead and take everything but the seasoning table and we're just going to top it on three of them. Just a little bit. Not too much, and we're going to pop it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. 
this is what they look like when they are out they are so beautiful i'm gonna score the edges with a um a knife that's that way they pop out of the pan easily and then we'll go ahead and plate but look how gorgeous that looks so delicious okay we are all plated it looks absolutely delicious they smell even more divine than i thought they would as you can see they've cooked nicely i have the canadian bacon on the bottom this yummy crusty goodness from the cheese and i cook them to soft yolks the yolks are still very soft so that when i pop them in the microwave they won't be overdone but that is what they look like plated this is zero points for one if you do have more than one make sure you count that canadian bacon i believe it's three four one or two points i i'll put put it in the i'll put it down below so that way you guys can see but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase and leave.